hope so. Okay, so here is like if we are like hydrogen is not the primary fuel, right? It is not the primary fuel. We need to have go through the other to produce this particular. Uh, so there are several ways by which we are able to produce this hydrogen. Um, uh, this is not like the oil, coal, and natural gases. However, like electricity, it is an energy carrier, right? But this the hydrogen is basically what it has a energy. It is consisting of the energy. It is carrying the energy. It is a it is an elect energy carrier. Hydrogen is the secondary form of energy that is produced using primary energy because we we said like you know, it is not freely available into the uh, in the nature. But whenever we want to produce it, we have to go through a certain operations and we have to go. These operations are basically energy extensive. We need to put energy to produce the hydrogen. And basically this hydrogen has that energy, right, which can be used further. So the primary renewables energy sources, if you have like this renewable energy sources, primary, we are using the primary renewable energy sources. Uh, we can take the example of the um, electrolysis also. When we have would like to have produced this hydrogen uh, productions, this is the uh, storage and transportation. Here we have the environment. And then we can have the hydrogen utilization, then the useful energy. So then what will happen? the one of the most interesting part why we are more interested uh, for this particular hydrogen because you know like we said it is not freely available into the atmosphere right we have to we have to separate it from the existing ones even if you want to separate it from the water we need to put the energy we have to put the energy if you want to separate it from the h2o if let let's suppose we have h2o if we want to uh, put the energy from the outside uh, energy if we will give energy and, and 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 perform the electrolysis process then what will happen h2o will come out h2 will come out the beautiful thing about this particular uh, fuel is like when it will get burned, it will not produce any kinds of carbon, hydrogen, and carbon, sulfur, and carbon um, uh, chloroxide. It is like the exhaust free. What happened? Because once it will get this H2, what, what it will do, once this hydrogen is getting, uh, if, if we will burn it, if we will utilize it, the end product is like water. Right, it will after rather than uh, because it is not emitting any carbon footprint to the environment because there is no carbon available here. So what it what will happen at the end of once we have utilized this particular hydrogen? If you will utilize this particular hydrogen, what will happen? It will react with the others and produce again the water. So there is no exhaust uh, uh, means there is no carbon we are emitting to the environment. So that is the reason this 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 thing is considered the most uh, uh, you know like the uh, prominent and environment friendly uh, things, right? Even if this is not possible in the, any of uh, any other cases, the only problem when we are separating it through the putting this energy E, this energy E should be come from the renewable energy sources. If it is coming from the renewable energy sources, this entire process is basically uh, the most, uh, even if it's more, more it, it's heavily reactive um, product and it is the most environment friendly uh, fuel, right? So how this, if this is get the oxygen, how the entire conversion is takes place, what we do once we are converting this water again into the H2O. So it is like in the close, close change. We have the useful energy here. We have put it the energy here. It is kind of an energy carrier but we have said here right like it is like the electricity it is an energy carrier and it is not the primary ones we have to understand this particular concept this is not the primary source of energy but once we are able to put hydrogen product if there is a hydrogen product if you are able to produce an um, h2 or hydrogen from here what will happen we have to we can store them and when, once we will use it it will produce the water and the useful energy so there is no harmful emittance from this particular uh, hydrogen so that is the why this even though this entire process is complicated we need to have put the energy into it but somehow if you connect with this particular thing with the hydrogen things or uh, with the uh, uh, with the renewables ones and 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 Again, it is working as a storage thing, right? It is like a storage for the renewables one because renewables will available only. Uh, it is it is uh, time, temperature, and location depend uh, dependent. But the uh, if once we have converted this particular renewable source of energy into the form of hydrogen, we have put it this renewable source into the producing this particular hydrogen. Then the hydrogen can be used in anywhere and any any times, right? And we can make this uh, rather than uh, hydrogen, we should call it green hydrogen because there are other processes also by which we are able to produce the hydrogen but uh, to make uh, this uh, uh, means means the research within the current scenario is like more on to the producing the green hydrogen so that we can have the uh, all the benefit of it like somehow we are making two technologies uh, together making them more 
uh, efficient and making them like um, uh, you know like uh, uh, you know like their drawbacks in coming out of from each other because uh, because hydrogen itself is nothing it need energy so we need to put this energy and renewables in terms of their individual use they are again they are nothing because whenever we want to use them whenever we want to have any kinds uh, or any situations we need to uh, we need to have like collaboration of both of them once we this is time dependent location dependent situation dependent if you put this particular energy to produce hydrogen then we have the both the ovens uh, clubbing these two technologies together making this green uh, hydrogen uh somehow it's making the existing technology which is the renewable make more reliable and the second one and 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 and, and the hydrogen production making this hydrogen pro productions uh you know like the uh, less costlier as compared and less harmful as compared to the other alternatives uh in this uh term, right so if you look into the other side of it if you uh, if you look into the uh, the hydrogen productions from the different there are different possibilities there are different side of it right whether we have said like because there are um, it is not the primary fuels it is the secondary ones and most of the time we are using it as a and as an energy storage energy storage right so the hydrogen might be the most abundant element on the earth but it is rarely found in pure form right it is not it is always clubbed with something else it is although this entire uh, system is occupying somewhere around 75 percent of hydrogen but it's still we are not able to get hydrogen in its, in its, in, in its free form right uh, to make it in its free form we need to put additional energy into it to to put that additional energy into it we need to uh, ensure um, if you are looking from the energy energy and environmental perspective we need to make it ensure that it should be coming from the renewable sources right and then this fact means that uh, in order to produce hydrogen it needs to be extracted from its compound this is the one what we are talking about because it is not freely available into the system it's not freely available it is it cannot be uh, available in its not natural form so to make this particular system in its natural form we need to put extra energy we need to put energy to to extract this particular hydrogen from its compound so and this energy, the source which we are using to extract this particular energy, the way we are extracting this particular hydrogen from its compound play a very important role to make this particular thing more energy efficient or uh, to make 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 this particular uh, rather um, uh, to uh, to have this particular system is from the economical perspective right um, this extraction process needs energy right uh, whenever we do this extraction it needs energy uh, we need to put energy into it right but hydrogen can be produced or extracted using uh, virtually any primary source of energy be it fossil or renewable it needed energy it, 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 it we have never said that it needed only renewables it needed energy uh, to make this uh, to subtract this particular hydrogen so whenever we are doing subtracting this particular hydrogen from the uh, from the water what we are doing in that particular case what we are doing we are having this particular change we are like basically what we are doing we have like the conversion of this existing one conversion of this particular existing technologies conversion of this particular uh, particular uh, particular uh, particular system uh, particular uh, fuels into the renewables one into the renewables one right so uh, it is the um, extracted visually and uh, primary source of energy be fossil and renewable it can be anything it can be the fossil fuels it can be the renewables ones but but the, uh, but the, but the, to produce the green um, uh, systems we always need to have the uh, renewable sources for uh, this this diversity of potential supply sources the most important re uh, reason why hydrogen is such a possible energy and hydrogen can be produced using a number of ways we have said the thermodynamical process the thermochemical conversion process the electrolysis process and even if the some other process the way we are which are able to produce this right the most common one and the uh, the uh, when we said this um, uh, renewable ones when we are talking about this this is basically the other one the when we have said uh, the renewables one one of these uh, very common uh, video let me play one uh, video for this uh, in this particular case what what is green hydrogen and how this is um, possible let's um, uh, uh, play one of the high hydrogen fuel is made i just need to clarify here let's play this particular video for you and uh, look at look get into this particular case so here 